Hi lovelies! Welcome back to my channel. So I am here with a massive, really massive, mother of all hauls, epic, super haul for you guys. I have the mother load of niche fragrances. Boy, do I have the load of perfumes to share with you guys and I have some very rare, amazing niche fragrances to share with you guys. So if you want to see what I bought and my thoughts on those, just keep watching. So you guys, I'm gonna start with a very unique fragrance house, you guys. This one is a niche of all niche fragrance houses. It's a very kind of cutting edge fragrance house based in Paris, of course, Paris, France. It's a fragrance house that's known for its edginess and daring quality. For example, the names that they give their fragrances are just kind of crazy, you guys. And the one I have to share with you guys used to have a very daring name. They changed it a little bit, but it still means the same thing. Yeah, they like to take risks, this fragrance house. They're very much cutting edge, take risks kind of fragrance house that likes to push that envelope, you know. It's none other than Ita Libre d'Orange, you guys. It is a French fragrance house based in Paris. I don't really see that many reviewers reviewing this uh, very rare niche house fragrances, you guys. Like, I saw a very, uh, like a handful of reviews on Ita Libre d'Orange because it's super niche, like niche of all niche. And I've only seen like very like knowledgeable YouTubers like Sebastian review this type of fragrance houses, you guys. So I'm really honored to be one of the few handful reviewers reviewing this kind of amazing niche of all niche fragrance houses. So the first one I have here is right here, you guys. This is called Yes, I Do. <sighs> Wait till you hear the the name that this used to have. I'm really not sure if I want to say this on my channel, but it's really not like I'm saying it. it it's like, was legitimately legit, the name this fragrance used to have. They changed it to Yes I Do. You know, my, my silly naivety, you know, when I first saw this fragrance, I thought, oh, yes I do. Oh, it must be like romantic sort of bridal kind of fragrance and yes I do must mean like it's totally for brides and since it has lily of the valley in it and everything must be like an innocent gorgeous bridal scent. Boy was I wrong. I found out what this really means. Yeah so I was completely wrong in assuming this was an innocent bridal scent, you guys? Nope, nope, nope. I mean, once I found out about this fragrance house, I knew it was wrong to assume that. They're very, again, cutting edge, you know, edgy kind of fragrance house that likes to take risks. A little bit, slightly a little bit like Tom Ford. You know how he names his fragrance, those things like effing fabulous and stuff like that. Tom Ford used to be kind of like niche, although he's a designer, you know. Um, but not anymore, everybody wears Tom Ford, you guys. So anyway, even of the niche houses, like all the popular ones we know, like really popular ones like Killian, they're becoming not so niche because everybody's wearing it. Not the case with Italy Pro-Dange because it's still very much niche. So, so I'm gonna take this out of the packaging. I sprayed it once and wore it all day. I will let you know my thoughts on it and see. This is what the bottle looks like, you guys. I love how they put the label on the corner. Again, very much going against the grain kind of fragrance house. They don't put the label where usually people put it. I think it's quite neat. I actually went for the safest, safest option available from this fragrance house because this is my first fragrance from the fragrance house. Um, I They have some really super cool, very unique edgy ones you guys that I didn't want to go for quite yet because I wanted to ease myself into like the edginess of this fragrance house. So I got like the one that looked the safest. It's even pink and everything. By the way you guys, this is sent to me by Twisted Lily which is a niche fragrance retailer that has the most 
unique, rare, hard to find, exclusive type of niche fragrances on their website, you guys. Oh my goodness. They also have some of the more popular uh, fragrances from more of the, you know, well-known sort of popular fragrance houses like uh, Parfums de Mali. They have Raja Parfums, which actually is very niche and still very rare but uh, people are you know people know about them and uh, their surge off they have a lot of those well-known ones too but they also have this type of niche of the niche kind of very rare fragrance houses that are still very super niche by the way you guys you can't find Italy Pro Orange for discounted prices anywhere not on the gray market not those you know, popular discount websites, you can't find this this fragrance house anywhere for a discount. So I do have a discount for you guys if you want to use that. It's Clio 10. I will put it down in the description box for you guys with the link to Twisted Lily. Yeah, take advantage of it, you guys, because you can't find these uh, super niche ones um, for discounted prices anywhere really. They also have like I said the more popular ones and you can use that discount for that too But especially these type of fragrances definitely can't get them for discounted prices. This one you guys is nothing Nothing like anything I have in my collection. I'm going to spray this on my clothes and my wrist This is very different from what I have. I don't again have anything like it mm. You guys Oh my goodness, I love this. This is such a beautiful, classy, feminine, fresh fragrance. Oh, it smells very French. It smells like Paris, you guys. When I smell this, it reminds me of Paris, actually. I can smell the gorgeous Lily of the Valley in here, which I tell you is one of my favorite floral notes um very super feminine lily of the valley Oof, this is definitely a fragrance meant for women not a unisex fragrance this is such a kind of an aldehydic fresh floral fragrance you guys it's very kind of of a very uplifting kind of fragrance very fresh and uplifting you know aldehydes tend to do that kind of like it's a very bright fragrance notes a uh, note that feels like sunshine you know sometimes it feels like sunshine it like makes you happy right away L lips lifts you like uplifts you um, and that lily of the valley with that aldehyde and the fresh notes in this fragrance is so beautiful even though it's fresh and it's a little soapy too, it doesn't mean it's weak. It's not a weak fragrance at all. It lingers, it's, it lasts on my clothes especially and it's got a, a beautiful soft sillage. So it's like very much a white floral fragrance that's fresh. It has a slight hint of greenness. It's always very edgy when you have a little bit of green in these type of floral fragrances. It kind of... Uh, you know cuts through the floralness it gets very very different from anything i have in my collection first of all i don't have that many fragrances with aldehyde in it um the one that i adore the most that has aldehyde in it is woman in gold which is mwah, so good and i have maybe one or two other not very many niche fragrances have that aldehyde gorgeousness in it like woman in gold i mean Ooh, is that an amazing fragrance so same here with the brightness I mean it has like slight soapiness that kind of makes it very kind of clean at the same time very happy kind of uplifting fragrance that smells super fashionable so you guys this has Lily of the Valley like I told you so stunning such a beautiful white floral that is so feminine so delicate and it has jasmine, of course, and this also has aldehyde in it, just like I knew right away when I first sprayed this that it had aldehyde because it gave me that sort of euphoric aldehyde sunshine, you know, factor. And this also has orange blossom and this has marshmallow as a slight soft gourmet kind of just underlining. It's not very prominent in your face kind of sweet gourmet. Uh, this fragrance, by the way, even though that's like what's so unique about this fragrance, you guys, even though it has marshmallow, it's not sweet. 
this fragrance is in, in not in any way that sweet it's more of a fresh like bright fragrance but there's marshmallow in it just underlining those gorgeous fragrance notes and this has musk which is so edgy you know it's very sexy when fragrances have musk in it this has patchouli this has amber with slight bit of amber which you know amber is amazing and then this has a little hint of cacao you guys just a slight bit if i hadn't looked up the fragrance notes i would not have known this had cacao in it i also couldn't pick out what notes made it smell soapy i still don't know what fragrance notes make this slightly soapy it's very mysterious like their fragrance compositions are just top-notch very super well blended it's hard to kind of decipher exactly where what notes are in it i knew it had a little bit of white florals but i couldn't tell which white florals again it was hard to kind of pick it out see it's going super strong on my arm still if you are someone who loves floral fragrances with a little bit of clean freshness in it, but is long lasting, more like happy, kind of bright fragrances, you will absolutely love this. I love it mainly, especially because it's so unique and I don't have anything like this fragrance composition in my over 300 bottle fragrance collection, you guys. It's very, very, very different. Yes, it is a safer choice from the house, I understand that I could have gone for something a little bit more daring like I think they have like one called 500 club or 500 something I wanted to get that it's like this dark like a like very dark maroon kind of looking bottle I could have gone for it I'm loving this because this is a very unique nothing like what I have in my fragrance collection at all this is yes I do by Italie Paul d'Orange so next I have a Raja Parfums fragrance, as you can tell by the box, you guys. Oh, I'm so excited about this one. I've wanted this for a while now. This one is none other than Risqué, you guys. Oh, yes, Risqué for sure. Oof, this one is lovely as well. Now, where do I spray this? Right there, just a little on my skin and my clothes. Mmm. You guys, this one, very, very unique fragrance. This one's very, very stunning, you guys. I can see Risqué, you know, the name suits this fragrance. This one has a lot of depth to this fragrance, you guys. It's got, I know a lot of you get scared when you hear the word herbal or earthy or aromatic sometimes but don't be you know that fragrance um chloe nomad uh, absolute now that one you know how it has like sort of an herbally quality that makes it so sexy a slight hint of herbaliness in here that makes it super sexy um very different you know sexy in a very very deep kind of way and i can smell some green notes and some woody notes in here the fragrance composition of this perfume is a, a little different from what you see from Raja Parfums usually. You see a lot of white florals, like very powdery kind of fragrances. This one right here is Risqué. I bet that's why he named it Risqué. It's very Risqué, you know, like it's, it's a deviation from the usual Raja fragrance that you see for, for women. This one kind of, kind of doubles into the uh, masculine, territory a little bit with the herbally with the earthy but it is so super sexy for women just for that reason you don't get, see a lot of herbally kind of fragrances woody you know earthy ones for women but when they do it right you guys oh so edgy so sexy so this opens with citruses like lemon bergamot and then there's like a weird note in here that i don't have in any of my other fragrances it's itisia cubeba something like that i don't exactly know what that is and in the middle you get hyacinth rose ylang ylang chamomile and in the base you get a bunch of like earthy woody kind of fragrance notes and some herbally ones that gives it like sort of those uh, accords there's moss in here there's cedarwood i think there's civet in here there's patchouli there's vetiver and labdanum labdanum you know is kind of uh, leathery kind of smells like leather 
type of fragrance notes civet's very animalic moss kind of gives it that sort of herbly earthy quality same with patchouli and then there's cedar which is a woody note i think there are maybe more sort of slightly herbal notes that they haven't re revealed i love it it's different therefore i love it this is Raja Risque. Then you guys have a new release from Parfums de Mali. I actually did a dedicated review of this as a bonus video on a Friday, which I usually don't upload on Fridays. I upload Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays, but I uploaded on Friday because I wanted to get the review up for you right away. This is Parfums de Mali Oriana, you guys. Oh my God, did I have so much to share with you about this one, so don't miss out on that full review please check it out i'm not going to go in deep into it in this video since i already reviewed it this one you guys is one of the best most feminine stunning gorgeous fragrances in my collection does that tell you anything Ooh, so beautiful this one a lot of people were comparing this to killian love don't be shy i don't really agree yes and no mainly no yes because they share just a couple of notes like marshmallow orange blossom but other than that i wouldn't say this smells a whole lot like killian love don't be shy first of all this one is not sickeningly sweet now killian love don't be shy comes to that place where it could be sickeningly sweet to some people not this one because the gorgeous soft gourmet notes in here like the chantilly cream and the marshmallow are very very well balanced with those gorgeous citrus notes in the opening like the mandarin orange the bergamot and the grapefruit they really cut through the sweetness of this fragrance and balance this fragrance so well the gourmet notes in here are not like sticky heavy ones like caramel which you get in love don't be shy and you get straight up sugar in that one too like i was saying it can be overly sweet not this one you guys this one has soft gorgeous gourmet notes like chantilly cream that gives it almost like a slight creaminess the frosted raspberry gives it that like kind of frost crispiness whereas the the blackcurrant gives it a super juicy freshness to this fragrance which lightens it up even more i would say so it's a very light and airy gourmet fragrance you guys there's something so addictive about this fragrance and almost euphoric the day i sprayed this on my arm i could not stop smelling myself and by the way this has the most amazing scent bubble that's quite large but it kind of wraps you in that scent bubble like a cocoon you guys really i was getting whiffs like every 10 30 seconds and yeah it's super super long lasting and it has the most intoxicating sillage watch my review to hear my full thoughts on this fragrance you guys it's a must have in my opinion it is a very light airy floral gourmet kind of fragrance check out my full review to find out more about it oriana by parfum stimali next i have another brand new release and this time it's from the house of killian and i am really excited to share this one with you guys and i'm going to do a dedicated review as a maybe a bonus video this coming up friday so stay tuned for that but i wanted to haul this first this is apple brandy on the rocks by killian you guys this one as you know is from the liquors collection of killian that comes in these gorgeous sort of um tumbler looking bottles which i think are super fabulous oh you guys this one is much much more and um better than what i imagined it would be i imagined a very kind of cinnamony apple like the usual thing people tend to do when you say apple they put cinnamon right i expected that this like very thick apple cinnamon fragrance um, that leans super masculine but this isn't i'm going to do an in-depth review so i'm not going to delve deep into this one uh, if you want to see my full review stay tuned it's coming up this one is very warm spicy sweet woody like boozy you know i think rum is the boozy note in here amber fruity like with vanilla 
very aromatic, citrusy kind of fragrance. This is very fruity from the pineapple note that's in here, you guys, in the opening. This is really weird because it's called apple brandy, but there's neither apple nor brandy listed in the fragrance composition, you guys. The booziness comes from the rum note that's, I believe, in the middle. And the fruitiness that this has comes from, refreshingly comes from a pineapple note that's in the opening, which I think is very interesting because the smile, I can smell the pineapple, but it doesn't smell like the usual pineapple note that you smell in fragrances. This one is very like refreshing, fresh, juicy kind of pineapple that's very, leans more on the fresh side. There may be apple in there that they have all revealed. Maybe they blended it together. There's some other kind of note, like a fruity or fresh note that's balancing the, the, the pineapple in here. In the opening, this also has a big dose of a bergamot, which might be actually what's moderating the pineapple. Like I said, there's something fresh that's moderating the pineapple in here. And there's a slight hint of cardamom, which I'm not picking up. You know how usually cardamom tend to be like, you know, hit you in the face? but that's not how it is in here. It's very subtle, the cardamom in the opening. And then in the middle, you get that beautiful dose of rum boozy note. There's vanilla in the middle, and I believe there's a little bit of moss that kind of makes this lean slightly masculine, but not super masculine, you know? This is very much a unisex fragrance. And in the base, you guys, what makes this, this very light, I knew it, I knew the moment I smelt it, Again, that might also be what's lightening up the pineapple in the opening, even the booziness. There's ambroxan. So ambroxan is the synthetic version of ambergris. It's very much, it gives fragrances kind of this freshness. So there's ambroxan in the base with cedar. You get the apple brandy from it, but not like hit you in the face, apple and brandy, you know, there's no cinnamon in it, for example. It's not like that at all. It's not what I expected, which is very refreshing. This is going to be one of my fall lineup fragrances, you guys. Oh boy, do I have the most amazing fall lineup. Stay tuned for my favorite fall fragrances, my fall lineup. It's coming soon. This is Apple Brandy on the Rocks by Killian. Next, I have a very, very special, special fragrance to share with you guys which I received from a very special person. It is a wonderful, amazing subscriber. It is somebody I'm very happy and honored to call a friend because this person is just genuinely so wonderful. This subscriber didn't even want me to mention the name. They didn't want any kind of credit for sending this. This was gifted to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You know who you are. This subscriber told me that they want me to just smell this fragrance. This is actually a very rare attar, you guys. Attars are these uh, Middle Eastern um, fragrance oils. They are high in concentration. They're oils, of course. Very concentrated, high quality, top-notch oils. These attars, which by the way, this subscriber kind of made me want to explore more of the perfume oils and I've actually been into the perfume oils. When we travel to Sri Lanka and we go through Dubai, we always buy perfume oils and I have quite a few up on my vanity, which I adore and they're so amazing, like the projection, the projection monsters and they last forever on your skin. They're very oriental, very exotic and gorgeous. In fact, they remind me of those glamorous, gorgeous courtesans of like ancient Indian courts. They remind me of the Mughal Empire, the, the Mughal Queens. Uh, they remind me of all these beautifully glamorous you know, women of the history, you guys. So this is actually by the house Fragrance de Bois. As you guys know, I adore this fragrance house. I pretty much love every one of their creations that they've come up with so far. You guys know my obsession with Oud Rose Entrance and Oud Jaune Entrance. You guys know I also have Siberian Rose, which I adore as well. This is actually from a very rare high quality attar collection that has been discontinued so that you can't find this anywhere anymore at all in fact this wonderful subscriber got me the last one last one left 
from Lucky Scent, which was the last place that had it, the last one. Literally, they had to look in all sorts of warehouses to track this one down. It's so, 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 so rare. And I cannot believe that I am the lucky person who gets to have this attar from such a prestigious, amazing, high quality attar collection that doesn't even exist anymore. So I feel like such a collector right now, you guys. So this one is actually Rose Dubois, you guys, as you can see the name on the back. This is from a rare Attar collection that contained Rose Dubois, this one, Oud Dubois, Arabesque, Arige, Asil, and Mutir. I, I hope I pronounced them correctly, but yeah, that line has been discontinued. So this one is Rose Dubois. Again, I feel privileged and super lucky to be the last person to own this amazing attar you guys oh my god look at this beauty right there you only need the slightest little bit you guys so this comes with this sort of cap that's like this so all you do is you take it and you basically you dab your skin with it just a little and that's really oh all you need you just dab a little behind your ears on your pulse points you dab it here you dab it here like just a, a couple of dabs and these are powerful attars you guys these perfume oils these high quality high concentrated perfumes Ooh, this is such a majestic rose perfume oil you guys again this is not a spin, you know, it's an oil, so there's no sprayer. The bottle is very small because fragrance oils come in very small bottles. They don't come in like 100 ml bottles, you know. This one is a super rose fragrance, you guys. You can smell the, the majestic rose in here. It's, it's warm, spicy, it's very ambery. So Fragrance du Bois, of course, is not going to reveal all the notes, especially in such a rare you know very prestigious attar line very few have they revealed so this has rose of course a massive 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 dose of rose which is in the middle in the opening you get saffron and cardamom which you know cardamom adds that amazing warm spiciness to fragrances you guys you know what i'm talking about it gives it like this very like warm warm depth to fragrances and then saffron as you know is a kind of a unisex smelling um, kind of slightly actually leans masculine kind of fragrance note that adds that you know like Baccarat Rouge has um, saffron for example and this has like a huge dose of amber in the base very slight undertone of sweet which is not that prominent maybe more warm spicy notes that are not revealed and other florals that aren't revealed and of course you guys this has oud I can smell the oud very prominently. It's a rose oud fragrance oil. I can smell the oud very, very much. And in fact, I bet there is an oud chip in here. Yes, in, in you know how Fragrance Du Bois puts the you know 100% organic, clean oud. Um, there are oud chips in the fragrance envelope here. Yep, that smells like the oud that's in here. You guys, I love that Fragrance Du Bois does that, like sends you a chip of the amazing 100% organic oud they put in their fragrances. It of course smells very oriental, as you would imagine with the rose oud combination. The nose behind this super prestigious attar collection is Shad Samar, you guys. Um, amazing, amazing to learn about this perfumer. I feel, again, so privileged to have the last of this attar collection. I am super lucky to have such amazing, amazing subscribers who think of me and want me to experience such amazing fragrances. This is super expensive, by the way, for like 15 mil, it's quite expensive. And I am inspired now to explore more attars, more perfume oils. I will be bringing you guys more perfume oils in my future videos. I told you guys I wanna bring you super niche fragrances and things that other people don't talk about like attars and you know, very niche of the niche fragrances, you know? Stay tuned, you guys. This is Rose de Bois by Fragrance de Bois. So next I have a fragrance from Killian, you guys. I've been meaning to buy this fragrance for the longest time, but I wasn't quite swooned by the original, and I was really glad to know that they came out with an extreme. 
and I got my nose on the extreme and it smells so much better than the original in my opinion there was something in the original that a note in there that didn't quite agree with me this is none other than Killian good go gone bad extreme you guys so yeah this is the fragrance in there let me take her out so she smells much much more sophisticated and amazing than the original the original one you guys had this fragrance note in there that smelled a little bit like a squished bug I don't know I don't know if I'm making imagining it in my head but this one doesn't have it this one is everything I wanted the original to be it has all the amazing things about the original without that whatever that annoying note is in there this is very much a white floral tuberose yellow floral kind of fragrance it's a little bit fruity it's ambery there's a lactonic quality about this fragrance it's a little bit animalic a little bit green and woody so you guys this opens with osmanthus jasmine and rose just like i was smelling i can smell actually i can smell the osmanthus very well Os osmanthus smells like kind of like apricot tunny kind of i'm usually not a huge fan of osmanthus but if it's done right in the composition it can smell divine and in the middle you have tuberose narcissus and milk you guys now tuberose is a very creamy white floral so with that milk in there it's super nice very kind of creamy, gives it like a creamy quality to this fragrance, lactonic quality obviously. And this has like a, a big dose of amber and cedar in the base, but there are more notes. I think there's something that, other than the white florals, which can make a fragrance smell animalic too, there might be some other notes that are not revealed. Whatever that annoying note that the original had, to my nose anyway isn't in this one this one is everything i wanted the original to be can't wait to wear it this is good go gone bad extreme next i have two fragrances from a couple of very rare niche fragrance houses you guys one is from heretic parfum so this one is what i have right here so this is the box this one is scandal wood how cute is that name so this has sandalwood in the base so it's like it's sandalwoody no sandalwood so they named it scandalwood so this one is a very nice sandalwood scent you guys there's a, a gorgeous voluptuous bulgarian rose note in here you guys that is so divine with that very like sensual sandalwood in the base it's slightly creamy the sandalwood in here with that gorgeous bulgarian rose it's beautiful there are some you know soft spice notes like coriander in here which adds like a mild touch to it and then there's of course musk which adds edginess to fragrances this is very natural ingredients a couple of maybe synthetic ones but very safe synthetics that are not like toxic or anything that's the thing about heretic parfum and also the other one i'm about to show you they use mostly very green kind of uh, ingredients this also has a little bit of cedar and labdanum which has a little bit of like ned leather nuances it's very sandalwoody with a little bit of rose it's like not overly sandalwoody not overly rose it's like a beautiful very well blended fragrance it's i would say very unisex this is something men and women can wear love it it's very light something light and airy about it although it's a rose kind of woody fragrance i love it because i don't have enough sandalwood fragrances in my collection you guys I got this from Twisted Lily. I will leave all that information down in the description box. Like I said, I wanna explore more of these niche fragrance houses that you don't hear about very often. This is Scandalwood by Heretic Parfum. Next, I have another fragrance from a very rare, kind of unique niche fragrance house. This is Hermetica Paris, you guys, this one. The bottles of this fragrance house, I really adore. Let me get it out. Um, they are these gorgeous jade bottles, oh my God. How stunning is that? Like, can you see? The light isn't shining like the way it's shining on my end. It's looking very jade on my end. This one is a very kind of a fresh green fragrance, you guys. I wanted to get this because it's something, I, I don't have anything like this in my collection. I'm trying to go for fragrances that I don't typically have in my collection, some unique fragrances. Ooh, this one's very unisex too, I would say. 
it leans a little more masculine but very unisex i bought this for my husband so he loves it he loves it it's so fresh and so beautiful did i tell you the name this is jade 888 by hermetica perry it's a very white floral musky green fresh kind of fragrance you guys you can smell the green notes the beautiful white florals with that green notes so sexy um this has lily of the valley which usually is a very feminine note but there are some green notes in here that's making this not go too much over to the feminine side like there are some green notes they haven't revealed that's in here that's pulling this very masculine to the masculine side there's a there's a massive massive dose of musk in here which makes it super sexy and there's ginger you guys you know what ginger does to fragrance give us it that zing that sexy zing you know oh this is, smells so good like i don't need to spray it i can smell it for over here it's very powerful by the way it's very kind of green white floral musky fresh scent that's amazing on my husband and i want to wear it too actually i also got this from twisted lily like i said i have a discount code for you guys in the description box if you want to check out you know super rare amazing fragrance houses like this i'm loving this one i picked jade 888 because it kind of drew me into it and the notes and everything yeah i want to explore more from this house this is america paris this is jade 888 next i have two fragrances from bond number no. nine you guys i did a testing niche fragrances video i will link it up here and down in the description box in that video i tried a bunch of bond number no. nine fragrances and decided that i wanted to buy bond number no. nine central park west so i did right here so here she is so i got this one you guys this is such a powerful white yellow floral fragrance you guys mm, again i'm not gonna spray it i don't have to spray it spray it's very powerful like i said i mean you wear this you will be noticed you people will smell you like i said it's a very white yellow floral fragrance with woody nuances you guys there's slight hint of green in here there's something almost milky about this fragrance and it's powdery it's musky it's slightly earthy so stunning so this opens with ylang ylang narcissus and pepper you guys so it opens so beautifully with that yellow floral but with a little zing from the pepper in the middle this has gardenia jasmine two of my favorite wild florals and there's linden blossom which i'm not familiar that much with and there's oris root i believe as well in the base you get a big dose of musk vetiver oak musk and oak you guys obviously there's a, a milky kind of accord in here because it's kind of creamy milky like those yellow white florals come across very milky in this fragrance beautifully powerful fragrance it i mean you will radiate like the scent bubble is big with this one you guys i'm yet to wear this to work i have a feeling people are going to be complimenting yeah love this it'll leave an intoxicating scent trail projects super well it's going to be a compliment getter this is bond number nine central park west so you guys next i have another bond number nine right here this one is bond number nine scent of peace this fragrance you guys i got for me and my daughter we're gonna share this one um, if you watched my N new york city shopping vlog that i uh, i will link up here my little daughter ran ahead of me to the bond number no. nine counter and she was testing fragrances and this was her favorite so i had to of course get it she's eight you guys still only eight but you know what it's okay it's time for her to wear something really mild and lovely like this if it was like an offensive kind of fragrance i wouldn't have gotten it for her and she knew the perfect one to pick for herself she's such an intelligent girl and centerpiece is embodies my daughter she's such a beautiful sweet person um very thoughtful kind of girl ah oh, you guys this one is such a a very delicate pretty scent very inoffensive very beautifully subtle at the same time noticeable it's very fruity it's citrusy it's it's very like fresh too by the way it's woody it's musky it's a little powdery it's quite aromatic although it's a very light fragrance there's something very green about this fragrance the there's a freshness about this fragrance this has a juicy fresh opening you guys with that gorgeous juicy black currant you know how much i love juicy black currant in openings of fragrances with another great juicy fresh fragrance note grapefruit 
so good like a very fresh juicy opening this one has and then in the middle it has the most feminine beautiful uh, fragrance note lily of the valley which goes really well with fresh notes by the way and in the base you get musk and cedar it's musky giving it like edge an edge and it's got cedar there are more notes in here i know there are maybe some fresh spices in here and some green notes in here that they haven't revealed i'm wondering if it's got like like a green note like cassis maybe i'm thinking that might be in this fragrance cassis uh, is leaves of uh the black currant yeah so yeah this is bond number nine centerpiece perfect for my daughter last but not least i have another fragrance from a niche fragrance house that we don't hear about at all here in the US, us especially this one is a european niche fragrance house in fact i searched all over the internet to find it and i couldn't hunt it down like a retailer that sold it and i ended up having to buy this like new from a reseller anyway the reseller you guys there's a story behind this and the reseller turned out to be one of my lovely subscribers and i bought this and she messaged me and say hey are you salon cleo i follow a, a youtube reviewer called salon cleo are you that are you her if so hey girl you know and i was like wow what a small world and she turned out to be one of my lovely lovely subscribers i was so happy to to hear that from her you know like it was so lovely so this is actually a fragrance house that was recommended to me by another one of my uh, amazing subbies she said you got to explore this fragrance house wesker and i hadn't even really thought a lot about that one. I had heard about it but not a lot and I really was curious I went to the website and I looked at some fragrances and there were some really interesting looking ones and she recommended Deviant from this fragrance house so that's exactly what I got you guys now this one this one is not a safe blind buy I will tell you that much right here so it's not awesome it has like a seal the on the on the actual package and do you see the ribbon and the and the seal on top how royal is that this is a very nice great fragrance house very niche you guys so here's what the bottle looks like the bottles are stunning too by the way this one is a projection monster you guys i can smell it like over here and the reason why i bought this fragrance is because it's so 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 unique again i'm trying to go for very unique fragrances that no one else is wearing this one has a lipstick note you guys lipstick and i can smell it and it's with a bunch of other gorgeous notes it's not for everyone i will start out by saying that this is not for everybody it's not a mass appealing fragrance but it's so unique that it's attractive you know it's a very very sweet fruity rose like slightly powdery fragrance you guys and there are some, like I said, amazing, unique notes in here. It has such a juicy opening with raspberry grapes and grapefruit and ylang ylang. You guys, it's ylang ylang in that opening. I, you know how much I love ylang ylang. It's such a pretty yellow floral. And there's something very gourmet about this fragrance, you guys. Um, I knew when I smelled it, there's got to be something like a, of a thicker gourmet note like praline or caramel or something. Yes, this has caramel in the middle. To lighten that caramel up, there's blackcurrant, that juicy blackcurrant in the middle, so it lightens the caramel up so it's not so thick and dense in your face, you know? And then there's a massive dose of rose that makes it very, very elegant. And there is orris root. And in the base, you guys, you get a lipstick note and you can smell the lipstick. I think that lipstick in the base, you guys, mixed in with that juicy black currant and the caramel the gourmet hint in that and the juiciness from the fruity notes is super nice really it took me a little bit to like really really appreciate this fragrance but i really love it now i don't have anything in my collection that has a lipstick note in it you guys and then there's also oud in the base you guys a little hint of oud that gives this like a very kind of slight oriental vibe a very kind of feminine oriental vibe like a, a sexy woman all dressed in red wearing red lipstick you know wearing heels very dark mysterious kind of sexy woman you know and it also has a little hint of tobacco you know it always adds like that extra dimension to fragrances that you know like that edge you know 
and it has leather which makes fragrances smell very expensive and luxurious and then there is a massive dose of vanilla in here which makes it super sweet still with that gorgeous caramel in the middle it's quite a unique fragrance it smells like like i said a very mysteriously sexy woman wearing all red wearing red bold lips the lipstick in here smells like red lipstick really not a safe blind buy don't run out and buy it without testing it this is not for everybody but those who love this kind of mysterious dark sexy fragrances would love this to death this is deviant by wesker so that's it you guys i have actually one, two, three, four, five fragrances still in my box here. But if I talked about them too, this video would be like three miles long. So I have to cut it here. I actually had a, a latest re release in there that I wanted to talk about, but that would just have to wait. I hope you enjoyed this video, you guys, my massive niche fragrance haul. Please let me know if you have any of these fragrances, if you enjoy them. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and ring that notification bell so you will be notified. Otherwise, even if you're subscribed, they will not notify you guys. I also don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I will see you guys in my next video.